Natsuki and Yuri give each other a quick glance, then start writing immediately. <laughs> so Yuri stretches. God. Then does the same. <laughs> Welcome back to Mr. Red Plays Doki Doki Literature Club Equals the side story that we didn't know about because it said to get all six side stories or seven goddamn side stories. It's like a freaking Five Nights at Freddy's in here. All right, let's see what we got. This is exciting. I truly do not know. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay, everyone. We haven't seen Monica in a dog's age. We're going to be taking a break from the usual activities today. I was thinking since people are started to talk about the festival. What? It's a good uh, time for us to go over the general direction of the club and all that. I think it'll help us figure out what to do for the festival, you know. Oh, Sayori and I already came up with a really good plan. Really? For the festival? Yeah, so the plan is this, okay? You and Yuri collect information ahead of time on which clubs and classes are doing food booths. This is very loud and I'm on the lowest audio setting on my computer. It's at two because it's Windows 10, so it doesn't two. I can take them go to one, but it's fine. Still very loud. Uh, you and Yuri collect information ahead of time on which clubs and classes are performed during doing food booths. Then we take a map and plan the most efficient route so we can, or route, so we can get most of them before the lines get too long. Hey, that has nothing to do with the club. Well, you have to let me finish. All right, fine, go ahead. Right, so basically, we get all the food we can eat, then we come back here, and we all eat together. That's all. Ah, uh, wow, I got tricked twice by the same joke. Boo, don't be a hater. It's not like you can come up with anything better. Look, even Yuri was thinking about it. No, I wasn't. I would really prefer to do something literature related. We can eat together anytime. The festival is a unique opportunity. Besides, it's been quite a while since we've seen any new interest in the club. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. We really got a shot at showing people what the literature club is all about. Did you miss my voice? I'll tell you what, we could do both, right? We'll come take make time for your food mission and still put together a public event. Oh my gosh, yes! I was just joking, but that's a really good idea! <laughs> well, I'm glad that's said. I think uh, the question is, how come up with an event that demonstrates everything you can get out of the literature club? Well, that's kind of tough, because everyone gets something different out of the club. Okay, how about this? Let's go around and each of us have a talk about what we've gotten out of the club so far. That could really help you figure out what kind of representation we ought to build. Reputation. Yeah! That's too embarrassing. Ah, oh, but you'd have so much to talk about. That's exactly why. And I'm sure Natsuki feels the same way. Well, maybe, but I didn't plan on arguing against it or anything. I mean, it's the literature club. We talk about that stuff together, right? And the only way to get more comfortable with it is to suck it up and do it. Ow! Oh, you're not wrong. I'm sorry for being resistant. Uh, it's not... It's not good to say suck it up because it sounds like their feelings don't matter. Right, my bad. It's just a habit I need to break. Well, anyway, who's gonna start? I'll start. I was the first to join after all. Ha <laughs> wouldn't that be better? No, I wanna go first. Fine, fine, you can start. I don't mind. Yay, so. Gosh, it feels like so long ago. I think I joined because I wanted to have fun poems, sharing poems with people. It seemed like a would be a safe way to express myself. You know, like if it's just a poem that I can share it without feeling like I'm burdening everyone with my problems. And I thought it would be a really good way to get to know other people too. So yeah, I was really surprised when I walked in and it was just Monica. And she was sleeping. Ah ha ha, don't remind me of that. Oh gosh. Yeah, but it seemed like so much fun to help start a new club, especially since writing helped me so much. I wanted to see it help other people too, but it ended up being me who was inspired, because I remember feeling like Monica was just, just Monica, so sweet and mature that I could trust her with anything. It made me feel a lot less alone, having someone who knew even the bad things about me. At that point, I knew the literature club was going to be special for a lot of people. Yeah, I felt the same way. 
It really helped give the club a lot more, a more cohesive, better, better. What's happening to me, better? Yeah, then Yuri joined, but she was so different from us, and Natsuki too. I think for Yuri, it really helped for me to take the lead before she was able to open up a little. But Natsuki was kind of the opposite, where she wasn't really ready to get close to someone really quickly. I never thought about that sort of thing. I feel really like I've gotten better at understanding people's different needs. And that makes me really happy. Because my friends are just the most important thing to me. And whatever new members we get, I want them to feel those way in those ways too. I don't know if I would have continued coming to the club if it weren't for you. Especially because of that bitch Natsuki. Whoa, Yuri. Really? Mm -hmm. I know it wasn't too long ago, but it hurts to think about my behavior back then. I was really short-sighted. The only reason I came was to find others who were into fantasy. I suppose that was my idea of making friends with people. Yet I remember feeling uncomfortable because you and I have such different energy. I had such a specific idea of the kind of person I could be friends with. So when Sayori tried so hard to get to know me, I felt like I was just wasting her time. I think I was naive to assume that similar interests were the key component of friendship. Sayori and I were able to be friends because she always thinks about the needs of other people. That's something I never knew how to do or even thought of. But I stayed in the club. Thanks to that, I started trying as hard as I could to understand people better. You really went above and beyond when it came to that. I was super impressed. Well, I always hated that I didn't know how to behave like a person who was easily liked by others, like the two of you can. Not you, Natsuki. Am I getting all focusy and weird? Am I? Let me know. Let me know in the comments if I'm getting all focusy and weird. Maybe I'm just making things up. And because of that, I spent so much time thinking about my own behavior and all the wrong things I said. But the whole time, I should have been thinking about other people instead, not myself. Once I started doing that, I was able to make friends with everyone else. Oh, also, I discovered that sometimes I'm a better communicator when I take the time to write rather than speak. It's so strange the way things turn out. It's so far different from anything I ever would have expected. But I'm so happy. I suppose we don't always know what we really need. Oh my gosh, you're so cute that I'm going to throw up. Natsuki. <laughs> okay, please don't do that, Sayori. Besides, I'm not cute. Hey, isn't that in my line? Oh, well, for me, it's actually true, so... W what, what are you saying? <laughs> Nothing. Are you saying I'm cute? Aw. Oh. I finished my part, so somebody else take their turn. My heart. <laughs> Sayori, I'm better. Take some deep breaths. Okay, fine, I'll go. Yuri, I can't believe you were complaining about doing this, and, I s and still went before me. What a show off. I was just following up on Sayori. It was the easiest way to get it over with. Besides, you left out the most important thing that you get out of this club. I did? Yeah, a regular supply of your favorite cupcakes. Oh no, I forgot that too. I'm a traitor to the cupcake queen. Neither of you are forgiven. Looks like only just Monica will be getting cupcakes next time. No, Sayori dies. Whoa, I can't, I can't eat that many cupcakes. Yeah, true. Only you can. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm just putting off talking. It's kind of hard to talk about this stuff. But I guess when it comes down to it is that I'm in a much better place mentally than when I was first joined. And that's because everyone helped me realize that I had some really toxic friendships going on outside the club. It was honestly a really painful thing to go through, having to cut them out. It still hurts to think about. I'm sorry, Natsuki. It's fine. I knew it was for the best. And I was right. I guess for me, it's all about feelings. I was only ever ridiculed for having feelings, so I thought the right thing to do was to just ignore them. It took me a really long time to realize that it's not really how things are supposed to work. And I guess that's thanks to everyone who took the time to respect my feelings, even when I was being like the biggest joke. I'm really sorry for being such a joke to everyone. I really was the worst. Natsuki's voice chokes a little... We love you, Natsuki. I just hate that I was like that. Everyone did so much for me, and I could do never do anything in return. That's not true. Better. You've done a lot more than you think. This club really wouldn't have been the same without you. I mean that. Remember how judgmental I was when you first showed up? It was like I couldn't accept anything other than my own idea of what a literature club was supposed to be. 
Apparently, that was more important to me than the opportunity to bring you some happiness. Peter, you really taught me that anything makes someone happy is worthy of respect. You even inspired me to start playing piano. That's something that means a whole lot to me. So, there's no need to put yourself down. Okay. Natsuki wipes her eyes. You helped me a lot, too. It's so much fun to have you around. And you helped me become a better person. Having a problem doesn't make you needy or inconvenient. It means that there's something that needs to be better for you. And you always deserve that. I agree. Seeing us have some of the same struggles made me a better person as well. I wouldn't want to change anything about our time here. I don't think any of us would. I'm sorry I got all dramatic again. That's all I wanted to say, so Monica can go now. There's no need to apologize. It was something I wanted to talk about anyway, because it made a big difference for me. I was always such a strict perfectionist who never took enough time to believe in the best of all the Peters. But everyone kept proving me wrong. I made the mistake multiple times thinking that my way was the best for everyone. Or thinking that I was needed to solve other people's problems. But I think being a leader means that you have to acknowledge that you're not perfect. And that the best thing you could do is to help guide people rather than do everything for them. We're all good people. We're all equals. That's the day of this episode. I think that's the most important thing I've gotten out of the club, realizing what that really means. You know, I thought Natsuki's voice was the hardest one to do. I was wrong. Uh, Peter, what are you doing? I just thought we should be writing some of these things down. Things about the club that are valuable to us. With a piece of chalk in her hand, Sayori writes the word trust on the chalkboard. This is because you showed me that I could trust you with everything about me, not just my good side. Suddenly, Yuri takes a piece of chalk as well. She writes, understanding. These are all the names of the, uh, side stories. Hmm, interesting. I owe a lot of gratitude to everyone who took the time to understand me, even though it was so difficult for me to express myself. Hmm, in that case. Monica takes a piece of chalk as well and writes the word respect. One of them's gonna be self-reflection. That's the last one. Another one's gonna be respect. Oh, we already did that one. I always thought I was a respectful person, but it took the club for me to realize that there was more to it than I thought. And I'm a better better because of it. I have another one. Sayori writes balance. Oh, 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 oh. I'm balancing. Oh my god. Stupid. Edit that out. Uh, sometimes people just want different things out of a friendship. Or they need time before they're ready to become close. So it's important to keep things balanced between you and the other person. That reminds me, Yuri writes, reflection. I've always been, that's it. I've always been a reflective person, but most of it has been nothing more than hating myself for all the things I thought I did wrong. Once I started reflecting on other people and not just myself, a lot of things changed for me. So I think that's the most important one for me. That's great. We have a whole list of things now. Suddenly everyone turns to look at Natsuki. Well, everyone took all the chalk. Don't look at me like that. Jeez. You could have just, you could have just asked. Monica hands her piece of chalk to Natsuki. She writes the word chalk on, on the board. Then Natsuki sighs and writes, self-love. I don't know how far I've gotten with it yet, but it feels like things are at least on the right track. So there, that's my contribution. Together, everyone stares at the words on the board. Wasn't this club supposed to be about literature? <laughs> It is. We still do a lot of literature. Friendship and literature. Yeah, you're right. Friendship and literature. Natsuki and Yuri gently nod as well. Hey, let's all take a Peter together. <laughs> we don't have one yet, right? Hey, you're right. Make sure you send it to me after. Wait, can I? Wait, can I brush my hair first or something? Oh, you're fine. You already have the best hair out of all of us. Hmm. Everyone get together. I can fit you. I can't fit you all in. Okay. Okay, everyone ready? And click. Oh, cool. Am I going to see it? Am I going to see the picture? No. I'm really glad we talked about this stuff. It's easy to forget how far we've gone with only four members. Yeah. I have so many happy thoughts right now. I'm getting some really good inspiration for a poem. 
there's an idea. There's an idea. You know, I feel the same way. I kind of want to get some writing done. Me too. I think I would like that as well. Everyone's looking at me again. I'll do it too, but I'm not feel but I might not feel like sharing it. That's okay. Oh, all right. The four members of the literature club dispersed and returned to their desk, each equipping themselves with a pen. Natsuki and Yuri give each other a quick glance, then start writing immediately. <laughs> See, Yuri stretches. God. Then does the save. But Monica is left tapping her pen against the paper, unsure of where to start. Hmm, she says. <laughs> Just move your hand. Monica mouths to herself. Oh, sorry. Right the way into your heart. Ah. Her mind full of thoughts, memories, and inspiration, Monica navigates past her mental barriers and begins to write. It doesn't matter what, just that it's something new. What? Uh, uh, okay. Oh, all right. Hey, this is kind of how it started, right? This is like, uh, uh, we saw all these scenes. Oh! Okay. Well, then, there you go, then. Those are just credits, then. All right. That's the end, huh? Okay. All right. Well, so, nothing horrific happened, but there's got to be something more, then, next. Because if we had this equals... Um, that could imply there's other stuff, maybe, that's like, once this is done, we'll get to. Because we still did have those other two things, which I kind of thought that we would, in this, get to. Um, and especially when they were doing that uh, picture, obviously that was going to be like, oh, well then there you go, it'll be the picture. And then maybe something else, but no, it wasn't. So, maybe it's something. Maybe, maybe, maybe these will, will be, will do. And I still don't understand what all this VM nonsense was about. Because... What the hell was all that about? You know what I mean? It's, huh, it's just a lot. It's just a lot to take in. Because they talked about how... Th there was memory leakage from one VM to the other. So one VM was reading the other. And I, under I, I think I understood VM1 to be the main game. And VM2 to be these side stories. That's Braille. That, I mean, Morse code. I want to know what that says. And we never did find out what that implies. Like, were there differences between the lore of, of the side stories and the lore of the main game? I, I mean, I, could, I didn't notice anything, but maybe. Well, that's I kind of thought that that's where it would diverge when... Um, thank you, dear player, for enjoying our story of friendship and literature. Uh... Uh, was them starting the poems, but they didn't start the poems. Made with love by Team Salvato. Well, it was played with love by me, Mr. Red. Oh, there it is. I knew it. I knew it. Aw, oh, that's very sweet. Okay, we've unlocked some pictures. I assume it was that one. Yeah, the last two. Everyone say cheese. Okay, now everyone make a funny face. Aw, oh, look at Yuri. Look at Yuri's funny face. All right. Uh, there's also, oh, and there's also this. Finish all the side stories. I did. I did finish all the side stories. Uh, all right, so there's two more of these promos that, those are like weird gets. So are these sketches. Like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know about all these, but I got all the backgrounds. I still need to play through the main game to get the secrets. Uh, and everything else it looks like I got, so we didn't get any new mail. Settings, 93. We got 25 songs. That feels like a good number. We're probably, we probably got them all, right? Well, then what else, what the hell else do we have to do? I just got a weird feeling about, uh, uh, get, like, playing the game again. Like, the main game. Like, going through it, and maybe something will be different. I don't know. And then there's a certain character. 
All of the recordings labeled side stories are part of the control simulation, right? I'm noticing some details of the characters' lives here and there that differ from those in VM1, even trivial ones, because of Monica's more fundamental changes? Five different universes in total, three or four of them created and destroyed by Monica. All right, I don't, I, I, I truly don't know. Well, what if we, what if we kill the software and go back in? Will it do something different? Let's find out. So far, no, we're logging in. No, what the hell, man? All right, fine, fine. We're doing it. We're doing this. We're gonna start a new game. We're gonna name ourselves Character. See what happens then. And we're gonna skip through all this. We're just gonna skip through it all. See how this goes. Well, here we are with Yuri. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary seems to be happening, really. Uh, I mean, other than the game. Like, it hasn't really done anything different, so I don't know that there is anything. I mean, I'm gonna let it go to the end, but we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, I wanted to talk about how Monica, it's sad, because Monica's like a real person in this, and like, in, in the main game, in this game, she loses it and starts doing all this nonsense. And it's sad. So that needs to be brought up, just so that, just so that it's sad. You know what I mean? Like she's like a normal person who doesn't want to kill everyone. In fact, they're all friends, and then she does want to kill everyone. What can you do? Uh, hmm. That's just how it is, I guess. All right. Well, we're here at the end. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. Uh, so I'm gonna end it and see what happens. It's different. Nothing so far. Let's go ahead and delete Monica. Start this bad boy up again. Oh, how sad. She's dead. Ah, back in the literature club. I love this place. Oh no, Sayori, not you too. What can you do? And the credits. Well. All right, well, it's over. Nothing! Nothing! One last thing to check. One last thing. This. Damn it. Thanks for watching, everyone. That's just gonna be the end, I guess. Uh, I don't know what else to look for, to look at, to try, to taste, to see. Uh, balls, man. I don't know. I tried everything. So, I guess I'll look into this on my own. I'll, I'll like, try to go through all this stuff. Because there's a lot of stuff in here that might be. Don't forget, ask Monica about this. Uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll see what there's to see. Maybe there's some stuff. Maybe there's some secrets hidden. I'll look for more of these uh, 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 files and maybe some stuff will show up and make itself known. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but that's going to be the end of DDLC+. Plus. This was a lot of fun. Even if there was nothing really scary in it, which again, I was kind of expecting there to be. Uh, it was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed it. Just I like these characters. I like this world. This game is so much fun. It's so cool. Um, and uh, I was into it. I was glad there was more. So thanks for joining me on this journey. We had some rough patches. We, we barely made it through in the end, but we did it. And uh, that's going to be it for me. So thank you for watching. Uh, tune in tomorrow for something else. Uh, I'm going to play in something new, something fun and exciting and good. And I can't wait for it. So I hope to see you again. Until then, I've been Mr. Red. And remember... Stay spooky out there, everybody.